Okay, next I'm gonna take this part. The new parts right here. So what you want to do first is take the choke off. There's two screws that hold it to the manifold right here. Okay, the two screws are out. That's disconnected. Now, I'm gonna take out that bolt and that bolt, which will release this whole thing from the intake manifold. Take the 10 millimeter. one got to kind of hold all this together your hand There we go. Intake manifolds off. Now this off slides off. Like that. Pretty simple. And all you got left is your carburetor. So the gaskets I'm gonna replace are the main bowl gasket, which is here. And then I got a new plunger and new O-rings for this part right here. So let's take this apart right now. Four screws, screws that hold the bowl on. One. Two. gasket it's all crushed in it's just real real dirty and grimy I don't know if you can see that so but otherwise it's pretty clean looking in there got a new gasket it's right there matches is good And this gasket number is right there, the bowl gasket. Take this, uh, clean it up a little bit. Brass brush. Good. And this is a brass brush, so I don't want to scratch any of the surfaces here. That is clean looking. Right there. And the mating surface. Brush it. really good so I'm gonna put the new gasket in and 
which is so much higher than the old gasket, it's unbelievable. go back together like that. Now what I gotta do is I gotta take out this little plunger because that is that needs a new part also. This little piece goes in there. Let's see. Let's a funky little clip. Retainer clip. <laughs> now let's take this off. That one's just not one to come. There's a little spring in here. You have to be careful. Of. Don't want to lose it. These little screws are tight. I got one, two, three. Right there. There's a little spring right there. Now, get the little plunger out. Because this seal is bad on this. Funky little. There we go. So we should have. Let's see. This little part should come off. There it is. Little cap. Plunger should just come right out. Bad seal on that. Clean that up a little bit. Brass brush. Alright, that all clean. So I got is the plunger. Here's the number on the plunger. And also this has two little O-rings. There's the number on the O-rings. So the plunger. There's the 
around it goes in a certain way okay just like that yeah, so much nicer you know a little bit more Plunger in again, comes through like that. Make sure it lines up with his gasket, which is right there, like that. Lined up. And those two little O rings go right here. So we're ready to put this back together. Okay. Good. Spring. Put it back right there. cap back on the plunger there we go we put this retaining clip back in now oh, that was easier than taking it out the plunger okay and the gasket back in See properly. Make sure to do this. Back in just like that. Oops, I almost forgot one thing. Little cow. It's a little deal. I don't know what you call it. Just got to put that back in right there. That would have been a mistake. Together, just like that. Four screws in it. And 
this will stop all the gas leaks I've been smelling. That's it. So this plunger, like that, and an old gasket, old plunger, and two old old O rings. Now put it back together. Not that bad. This part first. Drop my little spacer. My little spacer goes right here. I need to have those on. Okay, so go in there. Like that. Okay. Feed them through. That. Okay, that looks great. Intake manifold. Get it lined up. And this is just kind of weird. You could hold everything together with your hands. Get in there, they're doing good. Next, put these two bolts in right here. Makes just makes it easy to put together. line that up. I think it's just because the, it's not hooked to the manifold yet, so let me put these in first.
go. All back together as one unit. Over here. Alright, put it on next.